The most effective tool for nature conservation is education. Children will learn to love and appreciate sea turtles by getting to know Tammy. As adults, they'll remember that sea turtles need our help. The title of today's story, Tammy Turtle, A Tale of Saving Sea Turtles. Written by Suzanne Tate, illustrated by James Melvin. One dark night, Tammy Turtle hatched from an egg in a sandy nest. She had 100 brothers and sisters. They hatched that night, too. Tammy and the other turtle hatchlings were tiny. They needed help. But helpful humans had found the eggs 55 days earlier and checked on them every day. They were there to watch over the little loggerheads as they hatched. We should be heading for the sea, Tammy said to Tessie, her newly hatched sister. Yes, replied Tessie Turtle. Something tells me that hungry animals are all around us. But the baby turtles didn't need to worry. The helpful humans guarded them. They kept them safe from the raccoons and ghost crabs. Suddenly, the nest began to boil. It boiled over with dozens of tiny turtles as they sprang into action. The water glowed and showed them where to go. Tammy and Tessie and their brothers and sisters hurried toward it. Here we go, cried Tammy as they all slid into the sea. Waves washed over the turtles and turned them upside down. The sea was a wild place. Hungry animals were there, too. But every tiny turtle knew that it should head for deeper water and go fast. They all knew it without any grown-up turtle to guide them. Nature had given them a source of energy to escape their enemies. For earlier, each tiny turtle had absorbed yolk from its egg. It gave them enough food to last three to five days. The tiny turtles didn't stop for anything. They swam as fast as they could until they came to the Gulf Stream. The water was warm in the Gulf Stream and full of sea life. A plant called sargassum weed floated in it. Oh, we can hide in the seaweed, said Tammy. And look for good things to eat, added Tessie. The little turtles did find plenty of food in the Gulf Stream. Later, they drifted apart and each one swam and ate and grew bigger. Several years went by and Tammy Turtle became big and strong. One day, Tammy was looking for food. She saw one of her favorite foods, jellyfish. Oh, I will gulp that down at once, thought Tammy and she grabbed it with her big beak. But it wasn't a jellyfish. It was a plastic bag left by careless humans. Tammy Turtle felt sick after eating it. She could not even swim well. Waves tossed the tired turtle and washed her ashore. Again, helpful humans were there and found Tammy. Maybe we can save the sea turtle, they said. We will take her to a place where she can get rest 
and get well. So they took Tammy Turtle to a science center. She was put into a large tank and cared for every day. Soon, Tammy was well enough to return to the sea. A tag was put on one flipper. The tag would tell humans about her if they found her again. Then they took Tammy to the beach. A man came with his camera. He put Tammy Turtle on TV. And a crowd of people came to wish her well. Tammy thought, humans really do care about me. But it's time to say goodbye. And she crawled into the sea. Time passed and Tammy became a fully grown mother turtle. One dark night, she crawled ashore. She came up on the beach to lay her eggs in a sandy nest. Soon, another turtle slowly dragged herself out of the water. Tessie, is that you? cried Tammy. I've come to lay my eggs too, answered Tessie. It was most amazing. Tammy and Tessie had come back near the beach of their birth to lay their eggs. Helpful humans came again to the beach and quietly watched the mother turtles. The big loggerheads dug deep nests in the sand with their back flippers. Tammy and Tessie acted as if they were in a daze. They didn't notice the humans at all. The turtles quietly laid their eggs and then, using their flippers, covered the eggs with sand. When Tammy and Tessie were finished, they slowly crawled to the water. They never looked back at their nests, and they swam away in the sea, just like their mother had done years before. Thank you, boys and girls. And if you like this story, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.